So hey builders and fellow Kyber control system uh, purchasers. Uh, so this is gonna be a video showing how to install the Kyber pad on a um, X20S, uh, what we have here. Um, and so when you get uh, the software from Stefan, you're gonna get these two programs, uh, depending on which uh, or files. Depending on which version you buy, uh, it'll be this right now is version four. He'll be working on version five uh, in the near future, which will add some new support, but the installation should be the same. So it's gonna be kind of a shaky video. I'm doing this myself without any uh, camera support or anything. So hopefully this won't be too terrible. Um, as we can see, I mean, you, it comes with a full instruction manual, so you can open it up uh, and follow along, uh, which is basically what I'm going to do instead of trying to just go through this is follow along in the manual, uh, as we go. Uh, so Stefan has here that we need to turn on the remote. Uh, so after downloading the software, you'll have those here, uh, and then you will, um, extract the zip file and you'll have the zip file there as well. Uh, and then put those on a folder somewhere in your computer to keep up with them. Um, when he's talking about, uh, let me disconnect it here so we can go completely through the process. When he's talking about turning on the remote, uh, you actually need to turn it on in bootloader mode uh, to be able to access the SD card. You probably could take the SD card out, plug it into the computer and do the same thing. Um, but with this transmitter, you can just hold down this button here and hit the power button and it will go into bootloader mode. And then just plug that into your USB. I've already got it plugged into the back of the transmitter. Um, and then plug it in and you, then you'll see that you have the USB connected. And then you'll also get two drives. You'll get, uh, right now mine are saying D and E. Uh, you'll want me to be on the one that has the auto, the bitmaps and the models. Um, from here, you'll want to um, install a new folder uh, that you're gonna call scripts, let's see, R-I-P-T-S. And then we'll want to go and go to the downloads folder. And we'll want to copy these two files. Um, and I do have a stand here, which we will try to use occasionally. Copy these two files uh, into that scripts folder. All right. So we have those there. Uh, and then once we get those on, it says to unplug the USB cable and turn off the remote, and then we'll cut it back on. So basically, we're just going to unplug it. It goes, uh, once you unplug it, it goes back to this bootloader, and then you can just hit the power button, and it will cut itself off. And then you can hold it down. Welcome to Ethos. Fail safe, not set. And then... We need to do all of that stuff. So I did install a cool little screen on this one, um, you know, just because it was just something I was trying to play with and trying to get uh, a full resolution across the side, but uh, I haven't really figured that out yet. So that maybe, maybe someone can help and recommend how we can do that. All right. So from the main screen, looks like we need to click on the model and then uh, call it select edit model. So this is your model button here. Uh, we'll go into edit and make sure you're in the model that you want to work on. Right now we're in this chopper model. Um, and we can see that I've already set the name up, uh, the picture there and then type right now doesn't really matter or any of that stuff. So we'll go into the edit model and then after that, it says click uh, from the main screen, click on edit model, click on Luna sources, then select HyperPad source. So, mm, this is, uh oh, let's go back. 
going to edit model. Luna source, which you have here. Uh, we'll select that and we'll select the Kyber pad source and we will make sure that is checked. And then you can just touch somewhere else on the screen and you know, it shows that uh, that is now selected. So we'll go back to the model page and we'll go into the mixer. And right now, none of these are actually set up to do anything. Uh, we could go in and delete all of these, but for now, uh, we'll just add a new mix. <clears throat> And from there, we will add a free mix. We'll go to the last position. Um, you can set it any way you want to there, first position or in between any of the other positions. Uh, that's what I like about this software. It's so, so versatile to use. Um, so we do that. Now we can change the name from free mix. And this should be part of your standard practice is to name your mixes. And we'll name that Kyber Pad. And then we'll go to the source. Uh, we'll select Luna. And then... Lua, and it'll say it's the one that's selected right now because you had it as the Kyber. It's the Kyber Pad source, so that changes that name there. Go to the output and select a channel that's free. So, for some odd reason, I like channel nine for all of my uh, Kyber Pad buttons uh, and all the buttons on the other transmitters that I use. So. Put that in channel 9. Uh, that will now be the output source for the Kyber. So that's what's going to go to the receiver. So in the Kyber software, you'll have to say that your button pad is on channel 9 or whatever channel you set it as uh, in this particular screen. So then once you go back out, you should see that now you've got a mix uh, that's for the Kyber pad. It's using the Kyber pad as the source, and then it's outputting to channel nine. So from there, uh, you want to go all the way back out uh, to your main screen. <clears throat> and then We'll want to click the plus sign here, which is your widget. So this is screen one. Uh, if we go back, so this is whatever your start or whatever you have as screen one will be your start screen. So you could change this and set the Kyber pad to come up first, but I like to know which model I'm using. So I usually put that as the first screen. So then you'll go to your second screen uh, and we want to click on the one that is full screen here. And then we will click on the change widget. <clears throat> and we will go down until we see the Kyber pad. And then we will select that. And then once you have that, you can configure the widget. And then you'll want to turn, you can leave this on, but I think it's better to turn it off. Uh, you get the full screen effect uh, for that. <clears throat> and then uh, if you want to set up, if you're going to be using more than just the, the 15 buttons, if you want to go ahead and set up to have um, an additional 15 buttons, so you have the 30 buttons, then you can set that on a toggle switch. Um, and it needs to be, um, I think you could do it on the three position, but I think it needs to be a two position switch, uh, which I don't know. There's one over here on the side that we can use. But I need to talk with Stefan and see if we can do it on the three position. But for now, we'll set it to 
this two position switch over here on the side, which, you know, this will be your first 15 buttons and then that would be your next 15 buttons. Uh, so once you get that selected, that tells you there. If you only want to use the 15 buttons and you don't want to have it uh, to transfer over to the 30 buttons, then you don't need to set that. And once you have that, then you can start programming all of uh, what you want your buttons to be. And so for button one, we could do, say, test one. And then you can change the color of that button to, say, a green. And then we could say button two is going to be test two. And then you could change the color of that one to a red. You can also add uh, photos and stuff in for each of the buttons. Um, so that's also shown in the manual. We won't go into that now for this particular one. Uh, but this should get you set up. So if we go back out and look at the screens. So you should have chopper and you should see that you've got two uh, screen set up here now and then if you go over you can see you have the the test one and the test two uh, and then as you press those you can see they change colors uh, you can also change the color that that changes to inside uh, the configure menu we were just in so we'd, you would set up these um, so again you would go back into your configure widget and you've got you know the 15 uh, addition first screen and then 16 through 30 go to the second screen so we'll do another video on making sure you know what it, the rest of it sets up just like your normal kyber sets up so once you set this up and you set um, the channel 9 to be your um, or whatever channel you selected to be your Kyber uh, button input. And then you also have to make sure that you set what channel this was put on uh, to make sure the Kyber knows that you're swapping in between those. So that should get you set up with the Kyber pad on the, the X20. It should be around the same for the X18 and the XT Lite as far as getting those set up. Um, but if you have any issues, just let us know. Thanks.